Damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! Shy, Shy vs. A Bike Podcast, episode 163. We got a special guest in the building. She got a lot of hats, too. Goddamn an event planner, right? Mm-hmm. A writer, a poet, motherfucker owner of Iconic uh, Studios, singer, songwriter. We got Queen Mache in the building. What's going on? What's good with you? I'm doing good. You know what's funny? is when I first reached out to this young lady, it was 2020 in November. <laughs> I probably had about eight episodes and shit. And she didn't reach out to three years later, dog. Like, damn, I'm I'm mad. I just see this shit. <laughs> My DMs is stacked. I Man. don't see them all. Yeah, I, I figure that. But like, when I do that shit, I don't really, you know, saying expect to get people, to, you know, say anything back. Mm-hmm. If we not friends, because most time niggas get a whole bunch of little spam shit, creep shit. So I'm just glad that you finally opened it. You gotta shoot that under the, you know, saying under the post check DM, because mm-hmm. then I would see it. For sure, for sure. I was thinking, see, this was early on. This is when I first started the podcast. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? I was just shooting my shot, you know what I'm saying, to everybody. I think I saw you on another podcast. I'm like, let me see what's up. I'm like, yeah, three years later. like. And I love interviews. I would have been here. Yeah, for sure. But, hey, it might be for the better. I might be, it might have been terrible back then. I'm crying. You never know. You never know. I might not have questions. Might not do no research. None. We've been <laughs> this bitch just chilling. Like. <laughs> but everything smooth with you? Yeah, everything good. How about sure. you? Oh, no, everything good. Everything good. Absolutely. Can't complain if I did. Shit wouldn't make no money in my pockets. Very true. You feel me? So, but we start off every interview with a salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away. You know what I'm saying? To give them their flowers, tell them how much we love them and shit once they already gone. Instead of giving them their flowers while he or she can still smell them. But it can't be an easy answer. If you're in a relationship, parents, shit like that, no go. It got to be somebody outside of that easy answer. To give them my flowers. Yeah, give them some flowers while you can still smell it. Why he's still here? Because a lot of niggas be like, yeah, I want to rest in peace, Donald. Mm-hmm. Like, cause no, they gotta still be alive. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. Well, I'm always giving my flowers to my best friend, Jamar Moran. Okay. Okay. Um, always working hard. You know what I'm saying? Striving in every space. I feel like I I be working hard, mm-hmm. but like I'm a quitter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He just always working hard, always giving a hundred percent. Like I'm like fifty percent. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I admire him. Um, and I love him as a friend. He's for always sure. there for me. As well. No, I salute to him. I remember he had got me on the radio. Uh, what was it? Also radio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a couple podcasters come on. This was on like episode four. So I came in there and talked my shit. I probably was the best nigga up there who, you know, <laughs> all the people and shit, but, you yeah. know, that's neither here or there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, why you a quitter though? Like, what's up with that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I kind of had those traits early on with things that I wanted to do, but didn't go ahead and finish it off. Besides this mm-hmm. podcast, like in coaching, those yeah. two things I stuck with. Yeah. So what's, like, are you afraid of disappointment, failure? Um, I feel like I... I enjoy a lot of different things. Mm-hmm. So like, even growing up, like I was in cheer and marching band at the same time. Okay. And then I quit them. And then I was in tennis and track. And yeah. then I quit them. And yeah. then I was in, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I like what I like when I like it. Yeah. And then when I don't no more. Yeah, next. you just like, fuck it. So <laughs> next. Did, are you the same way with relationships? You know what? <sighs> it get deep. <laughs> you quit those shit quick? Like, are you eat, like, is it I hard to quit I do break up with my niggas. Yeah. Mm-hmm, quick. Like, why? Like, what's, what's up? Like, you know, I be liking to... them. Mm-hmm. And then, like, you know, I just wake up one day, like, you know what? Yeah. It'd be better if it wasn't you. Is yeah. it because you still ain't over your ex? Mm-mm. I heard somebody propose to you, you was still in love. What? Yeah, that's what you said. Yeah, I ain't say that. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't buy a ring. It wasn't a proposal. He was okay. just buying stuff. Mm-hmm. Nah. Uh, <laughs> I just be breaking up with him. I don't know. I don't know. They be Damn. having to go. Man, but what? So what if you like got the right nigga right in front of you? You and just said fuck him. I be trying to stay, but yeah. then it be so many reasons to leave. Okay, so sometimes I go back, but then I leave again. So that first nigga must have scarred you real hard, <laughs> then, right? Nah, I think I think it really is a trait. Yeah. I, I like something, I fuck with it. I feel like, <laughs> all right, this is cool, and yeah. then I just be like, nah, yeah, you know. So what's what's one thing you ain't stuck with then? Like they, like you that you like dog. I don't give up on this. I've been like, wearing no glasses what. my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, but hey, shout out to everybody. You know what I'm saying? But no, real talk. That's something you feel like you should go ahead and uh, and um just you know improve on, fix on, because 
say you get like a big bag on, you know what I'm saying, a deal here or whatever it is, like, mm -hmm. is that person should be afraid to invest in you because, shit, I might waste this money, go ahead and put this shit behind you? Mm, as long as things evolve with me, I'm always changing. So I think that's the biggest struggle that I have with other people. So mm -hmm. I also shed friends in the same way. Mm -hmm. I'm always changing. I'm okay. a totally different person than I was a few years ago. For sure, for sure. So, like, totally different. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like if you're evolving with me and you're making the same strides I am, if we run in the same race, we're going to be together. Yeah, we down. Yeah. But if you're not meeting where I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, some of my exes, like, they're the same nigga that they was when I met them. <laughs> for sure, but yeah. I'm a whole new bitch. Yeah. So yeah. this bitch don't like these kind of niggas. <laughs> yeah, so either sure. you're going to become the kind of nigga that this bitch like, or I'm going to have to get a new nigga. Yeah. So, you know, but same thing with things <laughs> that I enjoy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So if it's not a space where I'm growing or I see, like, a, a positive future for it, mm. I'm not really going to keep doing it. Yeah. So Anything you regret that you ain't gave up on? Person, thing, whatever? Um, got be some piano lessons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I was eight, I wanted to play the game instead. Yeah, yeah. I should have stuck with that one. I want to play piano too and tap dance. Yeah, I did tap dance. Oh shit! So you just overall just I just be doing shit. Could do everything and shit. Yeah. So no, so so with this like with this relationships and shit like that, like so what 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 are you doing though? Like to go ahead and just help because that that can carry on to the music. Mm. I mean, I know you ain't dropped nothing in a while. Is that the can that go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, you not focusing on things or giving up on things, can that fuck with your brand or whatever like that, like with the music and shit? I feel like I have made, like, a um, a brand that involves so many things, so I feel like everything that I do choose to do does still help, because mm -hmm. I've never really stuck to one thing. Mm -hmm. But, yes, my music does take the L sometimes, because yeah. I get so focused in other things. Okay. So, um, but music is a little more emotional. It take a little more out of me to do it, to create, yeah, and sure. to share. Because so. with me, I was like, when I, I remember, uh, that's how I knew I had love, like, doing, like, rap at the time when I was rapping. Mm -hmm. Because, like, I quit shit when niggas tell me I was trash. Mm -hmm. Niggas said my shit was trash, so I wanted to, like, prove a point. Like, no, nah, fuck okay. this. I'm going to get this shit together. Like, and when I come back, you're going to be like, this shit dope. And that's what happened. I came back. He's like, damn, you really worked on that shit. Mm -hmm. And, like, with coaching, my first year of coaching basketball, we was getting our ass beat. I ain't know nothing. Have a practice plan, nothing. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, fuck it. Like, I like this shit. I'm gonna go ahead. And, like, I look at shit as a challenge. So, like, if I if I'm not the best, I'm gonna keep going until I, you know, what I'm saying I feel like I'm one of the, you know, what I'm saying top top niggas. And I think I'm the same. Mm -hmm. I feel like I, again, it's probably not a good thing to tell, but <laughs> I think that I like to conquer things. Mm -hmm. So, like, with the sports that I play, I got my varsity letter in every single one. For sure. And I quit every single one after I got my varsity letter. Yeah. I did it. You got what you needed. What else you I'm going to do? You got what you came for. I'm the GOAT. <laughs> <laughs> we out. <laughs> like, what's next? Oh, so, shit. So, yeah. Look. And maybe I, I do feel like I reached a peak in music, so mm -hmm. maybe that's part of it. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like the last song, not the last song, I just threw that one out there. But Wide Open, I think, is my best track. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I got a lot of offers from movies and TV deals for that. So, I was just like, okay, wow. Like, I really mm -hmm. did music. The rest mm -hmm. of that shit was trash. I got better. Cool. Yeah, yeah, and maybe it's like, I don't really know where to go from there. <laughs> like, keep going. Man. Shit, keep it moving. Man. It's like we're saying, like, man, I had this great episode. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done, nigga. Basically, <laughs> yeah. that's what I be giving. Y'all can't fuck stop. with me, like. Yeah, <laughs> like I did it. Yeah, for done. sure, for sure. But shit, man, <laughs> talk about this year though. Like, how is uh, it's the middle of the year? You know, saying June, my fucking birthday coming up next week on Wednesday. So shout out to me. Okay. And see, I see you celebrate a half birthday. Yeah. I like what's like what's up with that? Like, talk to me. Like, I'm delusional, yeah. and everybody allows me to be delusional. So I just feel like why well, stop? Mm -hmm. I made it up last year. And, like, all my friends came out. They was a birthday girl. Bill on me. My mama pulled up with a little queen chain. And, mm. you know, we, like, really celebrated my <laughs> fake birthday. Yeah. Because, technically, it's not even half. My birthday in November. Okay. I just made this shit. Yeah, but I think I'm thinking, all right, December, okay, bet. Nah. Nah, I just made it. That's why I said I was 26.6. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, 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 yeah. <laughs> just, all right. <laughs> But shit, everybody be telling me happy birthday. People was buying me gifts and shit. So I feel like last year was lit. Why not do it, do it again? Because yeah. I got a winter birthday. I can't do what my friends do. I understand. You yeah. know, so I want to be able to have fun like them. I was okay. bar hopping outside with, you know, short dress on. I can't yeah, do that yeah. on my birthday. I'm a freezer. At all. Be freezing you know? your ass off. Don't nobody want to go out. It's cold as fuck. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I made it up. And the world was fucking with no, my Shout out to my cousin, uh, my cousin Lance. That nigga did the same shit. His birthday in December. Okay. Yeah, man, fuck this. We about to do something in July. Nigga yeah. had a dog ass white party. Man. Shit was fun as hell. You can't like that shit was hard. Like, Who gonna tell you no? Exactly. That's Nick, why I'm doing it. Niggas wanna have fun. Who and that's what I said. People be acting like I'm crazy, but 
Mm-hmm. Y'all be having fun though. Like, <laughs> for sure, for did sure. you enjoy the fake birthday or not? Yeah. Like, what's up? So, what's the plan for this year for the fake birthday? Um, I'm going out with my friends tonight. Mm-hmm. What, where y'all headed? Drinks. We're going to Grand Car Store. Okay, okay, okay. Troy. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, get in on your on your fake birthday, have birthday shit, yeah. have, celebrate hard and shit. Not doing too too much this year. But no, uh, personally, like, how this year been for you? Like, you know, what I'm saying achievements, music, just your business. Like, how has shit been? Mm, it's been a um. Theoretically, it's been a good year, but I had a lot of extreme goals for this year that I'm not meeting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I am working into the direction of, so yeah. it's still something to be proud of, but I'm a little like... Eh. For sure, for sure. Um, but, you know, I have kind of worked myself out of the job market, so mm-hmm. that's cool. That's oh, no, a plus. That's a, yeah, hell yeah, that's a congrats. Yeah. So, um, I still help out at this school sometimes, just because like, I love the students, but okay. for the most part... Oh, so that's what you're doing? You was teaching? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, well, yeah, uh, elementary, middle seven, school, high school. High school. Oh, how was that shit? You being a, a young yourself and I, love I know the niggas on your ass, kids. like the young niggas. Well, I'll say when I, because I first started working there last year, mm-hmm. as I said, and some of the seniors was a little yeah aggressive relax yeah. yeah i bet but not too bad a little bit a little yeah. bit towards the end of the year they like i'm about to graduate i'm grown yeah, okay yeah, yeah, relax i'm 18.5 17.5 yeah, hey, no for real <laughs> i'm almost Someone there was 19 no you know for sure you know that go yeah, yeah. um but no this year i think because the students knew me last year and you know now it's like okay a respect level i don't have too many problems with them crossing up boundaries mm-hmm. but now with this one, did you did you you know quit this is because you wanted to just be independent and not have to work for nobody, just have your own shit going on? See, that's the thing. So I I I had a whole bunch of jobs last year. Okay. I quit all my jobs, but I really <laughs> this is the quit episode. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to tell you, I had eight jobs in September last year. Damn, eight. So I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. you look at it, you a hustler. They had to go. Oh yeah, really? absolutely. So I um I did. I still worked at the school because I really love my students. Mm-hmm. Like I'm like emotionally connected. So I I want to say as of March I didn't have to work no more. Okay. But I was still working. So mm-hmm. um yeah here and there. So now you just do once it basically a week, your time. once every other week. Yeah, yeah. just to see them catch up. Yeah. See yeah. Cause shit, when I was in high school, shit, we never had no nice looking young teachers. We was that motherfucker, Miss Miss Arma or some shit, or Miss <laughs> Miss Miss Th- Thomas and shit. She bought eighty in that motherfucker dog. Oh we never God. had no fly teacher. We had one fly teacher, and her name was Miss Hope, mm. and she broke my heart. Cause I, I seen her kissing the janitor. And shit. Oh my God! Fuck me all up. Kissing the janitor is insane. Yeah, I was elementary. Like out of all niggas. <laughs> yeah, and shout out to this Will. How you coming? That nigga name was that nigga name was Will, dog. I'm Will. Sick. Shout out to that nigga Will. Oh girl, tell your hope. You know how like when you in class and they bring a the little TV for you to watch. Uh-huh. We watching that shit. I'm at my desk. I look over like, dog, Miss Hope kissing this, kissing this nigga Will. Oh, my goodness. Broke my heart, dog. I used to give her a bad time every year from first grade until oh. sixth grade. Oh, you really love her. For sure. Hell yeah. I Damn. looked her up one time on Facebook. <laughs> I, I, I inboxed her everything Like Remember oh me Remember me She he did too to, He trying to have her Go to jail <laughs> She groomed him Hell yeah She was a, <laughs> Hell yeah dog Miss, Since a child Shout out to Miss Hope Miss Tanya Motherfucking mm. Hope dog that was He came full government Hell yeah I, Shit. Yep, I always remember her that was He my, ain't playing That was my first crush Like as a fuck Yeah that was my first crush I was in first grade Aww. So yeah When I started kissing That nigga Will I was, Yeah hurt dog Damn first heartbreak yeah. I bet you Will Did her dirty too mm. <laughs> Gender ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Custodian. What, what, what's some name. shit that you learned about yourself this year? <laughs> you you learned anything that was like, damn, I'm I was capable of doing this or I ain't shit. Like what's some shit you learned about yourself? Yeah, I um I definitely learned that I've been holding back. Mm-hmm. I feel like like it's a lot of shit we can do, but like society tells us to move a certain way or live a certain way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even familial pressures, like your people expect you to have, you know, certain things going on. Together, yeah. And it's like, no, I'm really kind of a beast on my own. I don't have to do none of that shit. Yeah. And I feel like that's what's been holding me back all these years. But when you when do you stop caring about that shit? Because a lot of times we care what niggas think or mm-hmm. what our family think or friends and shit. Like, at what point did it click? Like, you know what? I'm just gonna go about shit my way it has clicked over and over again so it's like (laughs) i fall into it i get back out i fall into it again so 2019 i was making a lot of money in 2019 and i had a job and i didn't want to have a job and i'm I'm about to quit this job my mom and my granny like you need a job you need benefits no i don't no for sure i don't need no job (laughs) i'm making a lot of money so um i held on probably i think i was there for like nine ten months and mm. i'm like i'm quitting like mm. i got this much money this doing this and that i'm about to go do whatever fuck i want to do like mm. i was living a hot girl life mm. i was going crazy yeah so i quit my job 
two days later the world shut down okay um for covid yeah so then i do event planning mm-hmm. there was no more yeah, what shit to do yeah so then i was fucked up and yeah after 2020 i had to start back over mm-hmm. from the ground up and then i was back in that mind space again where i cared yeah. like it took a lot of money consistently for me to be like fuck that no, i'm never sure. working again Hell and yeah. then again like i said fell back into it and just crawling back out yeah because time see, of the, the year point, i had a job because yeah, you because you were kind of forced to get back into the workspace you know what i'm saying because you yeah. just like you said you starting back over and shit mm-hmm. but now speak on that because that's kind of important like you saying you into education teaching and shit with the high schoolers and just talking about doing shit your way a lot of kids right now are about to transition to go to college and mm-hmm. they go into college just based on what they feel like they they should do for their parents. Mm-hmm. So then you get into that motherfucking hole and you own this money and you don't know what the fuck you're going to school for. Yeah. Like I told my son, he's 16, he going to 11. So I'm like, you need to figure out what you want to go to school for so you won't be wasting time in school mm-hmm. when you could just go ahead and go to a tray if it's something like that. I do think that, I, first off, I think that trades are very valuable, mm-hmm. just in general. But I will say with college, like, I, I went to school for five years straight. Mm-hmm. No summers off, full time or whatever. Yeah, I got my degree in marketing, advertising, communications. Okay. So I do feel like, to a certain extent, college was wasting my time. But if it wasn't for college, I wouldn't be the person that I am. For sure. So I feel like when it comes to, like, personal growth and, like, finding yourself, mm-hmm. it's important. But I also urge all my students to go out of state. Because I was the only child, you mm. know what I'm saying? I ain't know nobody. I went to Howard. I ain't know nobody there. For sure. I went to D.C. by myself. But I found myself. Because when you are around people your whole life who tell you who you are, mm-hmm. you are a believer of who yeah, you yeah, are. You, that. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So when I went to school, I shed everything. Mm-hmm. I was a whole different person. And then it was like, whoa, this not me either. Yeah. And so <laughs> yeah, sure. some of the old shit came back, you know, from living here. And then some of it didn't. And that's mm-hmm. when I knew which parts were really me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And even living out there, I went to school as an English major. I wanted to be a novelist. Mm-hmm. I worked at a concert venue and yeah. worked in a marketing department. And that was just a job to have. So sure. shit, it was yeah. nothing. But then I was like, damn, I love running events. Damn, I really like music. I'm mm-hmm. really into this, you know, this aspect of it. Moved back home. And that's when I decided this is what I wanted to do. So, yeah, so you so. went to college with a whole different... Like you, you going for this, but then you just switched it up because you, mm-hmm. yeah, you because of my experiences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I was very shy. I didn't feel comfortable talking to people. Like I was gonna be the quiet person in the room. You would never catch me in nobody's face on nobody's <laughs> stage or yeah. nothing like that. Okay, <laughs> so uh, yeah. college definitely broke me out of that because in certain situations you do, gotta stick up for yourself or kind of cut into your professors. Like no, mm-hmm. this is what you ain't do this that, and that. You know, like you can't be you can't be pussy. No, for you know sure. What I'm but... saying. So it definitely pushed me out of that. So do you feel like like when you're a kid, like depending on what type parents you are you kind of like living a lie because you almost like living to their expectations and not yours so a lot of people don't figure out like you said you didn't figure out your you, how you should be or or or, or you know say until you got to college mm-hmm. and that's when you, you kind of like grew into your you know say who you are i don't even think it's just when you're a kid i think anybody that does not completely separate themselves for a period of time will never know what parts are truly them mm-hmm even there are certain people I've separated myself from right now, and I realize, like, oh, you don't actually do that. For that sure. was them. Oh, yeah. you don't really like doing that all the time. That's their behavior, you know? Mm-hmm. When you around the same friends, the same family your whole life, and it's, oh, you know she that. You know she don't like that. It's yeah. just, like, constantly yeah. pushing into you this idea of you. Yeah. But who are you for real? So do you think you need, like, time alone? Because, you know, a lot of times, like, I know with me, I ain't went right from being at my mom's crib then, bam, I'm in a relationship, got a baby. So I'm never, by myself, never got that mm-hmm. time to really know who I am. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you, do you feel like that's important? Like, to just have that time alone, just, you know what I'm saying, with your own thoughts and just figuring shit out, you know what I'm saying, without the help of family, relationships, you know what I'm saying, friends, things like mm-hmm. that? Absolutely. Like I said, I'm my only child, and I spend a lot of time alone. Mm-hmm. Like, and that's what I prefer. Like, <laughs> I don't want nobody around me all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably why my niggas be irritated. Hey, baby, yeah, yeah. you've been over here for two weeks, sweetheart. Pick three days a week. I'll see yeah. you then. Okay? No, for sure. Hell yeah. Hey, hey for sure. I need my time. You got some girls be up on you like, God damn, can I breathe? Mm-hmm. And then you leave. Like, what you doing, nigga? I just left you. Oh like, nigga, we just got friends laying up for three days watching motherfucking catfish. Nigga. Yeah, okay. <laughs> for real. Hell yeah. But I like to sit in silence mm-hmm. with my own thoughts. What do I want? What am I thinking? You can't even come up with no greater thoughts if you don't sit and think. No, for sure. Where for it's sure. supposed to come from? That's why I get my, all my great thoughts on the toilet. When I'm by myself, so with my you kids. That's and be free. Exactly. You just yep. right there with your own Freedom thoughts. Freedom on Hell the yeah. toilet. For sure. For <laughs> sure. Doing what you got to do. Uh-huh. And that's why I write all my ideas down, all my questions and everything mm-hmm. on, in the bathroom, away from everybody. Yeah. Now, how you feel about HBCU? Like, you feel like that's that's the thing that, you know, saying young black kids should target it at and not, you know, saying go to these, these white schools or whatever, like, because then you... I mean, is it? 
it's it's a, it's a you know what I'm saying both sides. I'm I'm quite sure it's some positive things for me side. Mm. But going to a black school, I just hear so much about like how great that is and the experience and shit like that. I think it's very empowering. So I feel like it definitely depends on your experience. Growing up, I grew up in a very racist area. Mm-hmm. Uh, first time I got caught a nigger, I was seven. Oh, damn. So uh, I was getting jumped by white boys, whooping their ass. The school was <laughs> kicking me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? So I feel like it was very important for me to go to an HBCU because mm. my whole life, you know what I'm saying, like I was pretty for a black girl or, you know what I'm saying, like I wasn't getting the the love or the attention or mm. or even the respect that yeah. I had earned you know what I'm saying I had really good grades I was on my shit I was in all the sports if it was a black girl in a sport you look at the picture it's probably me yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> everything so um yeah I just feel like it was tough on me and I I had became so so tough but also not self loving deeply you know yeah, what I'm saying sure. like because I was always fighting to yeah. stand in the room so going to HBCU and really becoming my real self i think was very important having that love and being around other people that look like me mm-hmm. i ain't gonna hold you i became a whole little little hippie hbcu bitch when <laughs> yeah, i was at Howard. Sure, yeah. i was natural you yeah, feel yeah, me yeah, bitch yeah. ain't wear bras you feel no, me don't tell me you wasn't wearing a deodorant so, like you wearing a little no, i was wearing deodorant oh. now, baby. not too much you we know, talked about that musty shit when i got here <laughs> Come on, now. Huh? I did say she smelled good when she came here, so don't Thank yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? But no, no, you know how them girls be that much natural deodorant, natural hair. Yeah, no, no, no. I just had natural hair. You feel me? My natural cut. I came back to Detroit. My cousin talking about, oh, girl, you need to get your hair done. I said, oh, I forgot where the fuck I'm at. <laughs> yeah, for sure. DC, back you get away with shit like that. Everybody, yeah. feel me? Earthy and dreads yeah. and shit. You can't do that shit here. Now, for your middle school and high school, would you like at all white school the whole time? Because mm-hmm. I did that shit but for like three years and like I cried. Mm-hmm. Like I went to uh, Gross Point North. Okay. And I was there my first day there. I'm like, what the fuck? I ain't, I ain't never seen as many white people in mm-hmm. person. Yeah. So when I went back to Southeastern, you you saw a difference. Like, damn, like with with education, what they was teaching. Mm-hmm. But Huge I was more, in the yeah, I was more comfortable at Southeastern than I was there mm-hmm. because, like I said, you got some teachers that don't give a fuck. They they racist. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got some that's cool. I had a teacher call me colored. Oh, damn, what the fuck? And she tried to fight me, and then the school tried to kick me out. What school was this? Henry Ford the second. Okay. In Sterling Heights. Yeah. I um uh, yeah. The school was like, oh, listen, now this this is where it get tight. This mm-hmm. how you know, like I was just my head wasn't right. We had like twenty five <laughs> kids in the class. Mm-hmm. She called me color and put her hands on me in front of all the students. You that's know wild. all the students said they ain't see shit. Oh, that's some bullshit. They didn't hear shit or see shit. Like, that's when you realize, like, we not friends for no, real. for sure at all. We don't. You know, you be kicking it with people. Y'all doing homework. Like, we not cool for real. Yeah. You feel me? When it really come down to it, y'all don't love me. Y'all don't care for me. Nothing. Like, mm-hmm. that's how we going to play it. Mm-hmm. Now, if I would have whipped her red. <laughs> Hell yeah. 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 Um, no. So, I'm an only child. I'm my only baby, okay? Yeah, and we like sure. these. So, no, she did not want me to go across the country. Mm-hmm. No. I was supposed to go to Michigan State. Okay. Um, I had paid, put my deposit down, room board, everything. Like, I was set, paperwork, mm-hmm. Michigan State. And I was just out the blue, like, I think I want to go to Howard. Yeah. How many and people was disappointed in that shit? I mean, I think I blew everybody. Yeah, they like, like, what like, the fuck? Like, you, yeah, you had the Howard. crib, this school, this, that, the third. Man. Yeah, and I ain't know nobody there, so I really like you know. But yeah. like I said, I was shy, and then the insecurities built from so being in the So it was really like, damn, I don't know why I said that, but yeah. I guess that's what I'm gonna do. Cause yeah. I was I say, scared of what made what was the switch? Like, what made you just out the blue? Like, you got I everything prayed on it. Mm-hmm. I prayed on it. I had scholarships to both schools. Mm-hmm. I said I had good grades, but I prayed on it and. One day I was just like, I think I'm supposed to go to Howard. Like mm. that's what I'm gonna do, and yeah, I did for sure. And I was out there. Yeah, shout out to the HBCUs. I wish I would have went, but it probably would have been bad. I ain't gonna lie, ain't nothing more turnt than Howard. Man, I probably Woo. went. I had baby. Jesus, man, yeah, yeah. yeah. I jumped. See, that's the only thing I regret. Like, it's another world. I ain't, yeah. It's its own little universe. Mm-hmm. Some different. Yeah. See, my college experience is about two months at Macomb. That's it. Listen, and I be telling my kids now. I understand everybody else be pushing that. I tell my students do not go to community college because it's something about the experience of an actual university and wanting to stay there that's mm-hmm. gonna make you work harder. For sure. When you going to work and then going to class, you just yeah. bored, you irritated, and you chilling with your homeboys like you normally do. There's nothing special about it. For sure. Howard was so amazing that we was fighting our like, hey nigga, I gotta make sure you don't wanna leave. You yeah. don't wanna be the one that don't make it. You For know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Left out the group, like the group of friends, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just too lit. Mm-hmm. So it make you wanna be there. 
That's what's up. Shout, mm-hmm. shout out to education. You know what I'm saying? Hey, kids, get education. You know what I'm saying? Figure out what you <laughs> right, want to do. We've been real pro ed. You know, you know, pro get, ed as fuck. Get your shit right. Get your shit right. Get your shit right. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, you know, my one question I'd like to ask people, like, what motivates you? You know what I'm saying? I know you you, you, you switch things up. You know what I'm saying? You move on to the next. You know what I'm saying? If that's Craig or if that's a job. Like, <laughs> like what, what motivates you, though? Like, what's your, what motivates you every day to do what you got to do? Mm. I um I had a moment years ago before I started doing shows and music and shit, mm-hmm. and I was telling Mama like I would hate if God had planned me to be great mm-hmm. and that I'm not because of my own fears. For sure. And she was like, "Well, just do it then." Mm-hmm. And then yeah, every day yeah. I just wake up and face my fears. Like, oh, that would be cool. Yeah. Damn, let me do it. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, up? fuck it. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So I'm just living in a fucking mentality. I yeah. am an anime nerd, so Naruto had a big <laughs> impact on For me sure. my son, I love getting you, up and doing that shit. <laughs> Cause he just so like, I'm like, damn, this nigga like fucked up, and this nigga yeah. still getting up. I'm yeah, like, damn, sure. let me nah. get the fuck up. Hell yeah. Hell so yeah. could be those days. And shit, you be like, what the fuck, bro? Yeah. Well, you just ain't got facing the your for fears, it. man. Yeah, but then it's like, why not? You ain't got one life to live, so why not just try shit? Yeah, I mean, you never know what you gonna like, what's gonna work for you. And like I said, I'm very comfortable quitting shit. So if I started and I don't like it, yeah. <laughs> throw it back, you know, yeah, whatever. Sure. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah, y'all so. return, please. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, speaking of one life, like, are you afraid of death? Like, do you think about death? Um, I know it's random as fuck, but we talking about life and shit. I think about it because there, I want to be. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. My mama told me I could be anything I wanted to be, and I've been trying to do all of it. So mm-hmm. it's so much stuff I want to do. Mm-hmm. So I do think about death in the sense that, like, damn, I got to move faster because I don't want to die before I do all these a billion things, you mm-hmm. know? So No, for sure. Cause I think about that shit, so I'll be scaring myself sometimes. Like, like damn, like, when, you, when it's over, it's over forever. Mm. It's not like for... Damn. A, it's not like for... A, <laughs> Get this thing out of here. It's not, no, for real. Oh, my God. Like, I used to think about shit a lot. Like, it's not like, all right, it's going to be over for a couple years. Like, nigga, for the rest of history. This nigga, nigga. talking about, they done reset his character. Man, for real. So, it's like, bro, like, ain't no point sitting here, like, just, like you said, not doing what you got to do. Because when it's all said and done, when he, he called your number. Yeah, you only get so much time. Yeah. And that would be so disappointing if I just wasted, like, five years. Mm-hmm. Then I start working on something and I never finish it because I die. Sure. And it's like, damn, I probably should have been working five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, I for probably sure. could have finished that shit. Like, yeah, man. man. Cause shout out to all the fathers. It's about to be Father's Day. I just think about my dad. Like, mm-hmm. he he passed when I was thirteen. I'm like, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, just think about his life. Like, it wasn't too much about his life that he done, he did. You know, what I'm saying he worked, came mm-hmm. home, smoked weed. You know, what I'm saying <laughs> and, and, that, that's a lot of people' life. Yeah, no, now, for sure. Listen, I know we all got that family member who you pull up to their house and they there. Yeah, no, you know all what I'm saying. Time. Like they they sitting on the porch, they there, and I feel like. I grew up being like comfortable in that, and I was just like, "Damn, mm-hmm. like time just be passing, and no, like pass it like just don't matter." Pass and like, like I don't want that to be me. Like I want every day, and again, it's the delusional thing. Okay, mm-hmm. we're gonna tap in this couple no, go times. I want every day of my life to be exciting. Yeah, for sure. So if I be bored, that'd be dangerous for yeah. niggas. I'm gonna stop talking to you. <laughs> I just get to make it <laughs> shit up and go with it. Like I said, my fake birthday. Yeah. Fuck it. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So- I just be making shit up. So I go back to the relationship shit. So if I'm with you, I, I got pressure to make sure you are excited every fucking day. I will wake up and make <laughs> up something to be excited. You no. just got to ride along. <laughs> the fuck? Hell no. So I decided what? I was getting married one day. Uh, you, you, we had a fake win. To, to, to the hands, you said, do say bottle. Huh? Because you, you say you put the ring on, you be with the do say bottle taking pictures. I do be doing yeah, that. I'm, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. So I, 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 I be, see, because the nigga bought me the ring. But like I wasn't fucking with him no more. But the ring was nice, so I just tell everybody I was married to the bottle. I was aware every time I get drunk. <laughs> fuck it. Oh, so as a woman, <laughs> you not obligated to get that motherfucker back. No. But why? Why would you want to keep it? Listen though, first, 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 first. If you stressed me the fuck out, I earned it. Second off, <laughs> so, like a your ring and shit. Like basically, I already yeah. earned that. I worked for that. But I do be offering for guys to take their stuff back. So mm-hmm. he had just bought me like a whole bunch of outfits and like shoes and shit. Spent yeah. a lot of money. And I did not touch that shit for a year and a half. It was in the bag and boxes. I'm like, you sure you don't want it back? Yeah. You sure? Because I don't want nobody trying to say like, I was using them or take your mm-hmm. shit. You feel me? I offer everything back. But mm-hmm. he ain't take shit. So, so where is that? What, what you do with it? You just... You know, I wore the outfit one time. Mm. And I just felt weird in it. <laughs> you felt icky so I just in never wore it again. Like, yeah. it right. was a nice fit with some yeah. nice ass shoes. Never yeah. wear that shit again. Yeah, because you gotta feel if you a man, you bought your your, your ex something, and then you you going through an old picture and see her on a date with that outfit on. That's <laughs> fucked up. Like damn, 
I, I work hard for that fit, dog. Man, I'm wearing ring. the jewelry with other... Nigga, listen. I'm so cutting that. A nigga bought me a chain. Yeah. I had broke up with him. Yeah. Why would you buy me a chain after I left you? You Damn, was a I, fool. We know somebody like that, It was dog. so nice. Fuck, I know somebody who did it that It was shit. a beautiful chain. I really appreciated it. Yeah, yeah. See, I would did the motherfucking new, new uh, T.I. thing. I would get my motherfucking but shit But he back. gave it to me after. Yeah, oh, he tripping. Yeah, but I think he thought I was going to be like, oh, my God, let's talk again. Mm -hmm. He like, if you see, this where you fucked up. Yeah. Niggas can't never just shut up. Yeah. Need the last word so fucking bad. Shut yeah, up. For sure. Talking about if you act right, you can get the rest of the set. Yeah. Oh, act right. So, I ain't worried about it. Christmas. My mom was just as petty as me. She bought me the rest of the set. Yeah. I ain't got to act right for you, boy. Yeah, you I, I still got that shit. The fuck? Hell no. Nah, if man. I act right. <laughs> which now, never. When you, uh, when you, um, Involved with a dude, mm -hmm. like, is it uh unattractive of a dude just jumping on you like quick, like trying to just like shower you with things and just try to you know say impress you like super tough off the rip, or you want a nigga to take it easy and just you know build up to it? I definitely like to move slow, mm -hmm. real slow, mm -hmm. turtle. For sure, for yeah. sure. <laughs> and as far as like like we go on dates, like is it a switch? Like all right, I pay for it, you pay for it, like you know what I'm saying? Because me and my cousin was having this argument. And he was saying, like, a young lady, this is the first time that a young lady has, you know what I'm saying, treated him to something. Mm -hmm. He always been the one treating, 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 mm -hmm. and it's never been reciprocated. So, do you feel like, like, how you feel about that? Mm, so, I'm a giver. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm also bisexual. So, mm -hmm. when I go out, you know, I date girls. So, if I'm going on a date with girls, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I don't, basically, I don't mind okay. paying the bill. For sure. But when I first started dating a dude... Just for premise, for understanding of mm -hmm. what the levels are, I expect the man to pay for a certain period of time. Sure. Of course, you know, here and there, I might just grab something off the slide, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I put down the tip, mm -hmm. you paid the bill, whatever. But once we're dating for real, yeah. I be doing too much, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like to spoil my boyfriend, so, okay. you know what I'm saying? Let me come pick you up, you know, yeah. usher, train places, vibes. <laughs> I'm going to come pay for the bill, baby. I got you. Where you want now, when it comes to dating women, though, like... like when when did you realize like I, I like women and dudes? I was dating this dude some years ago, mm -hmm. and we was so in love, and I, we would get drunk, and I start crying like, "Baby, I think I'm gay." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, listen. And then you just follow, like you said, you hey. I conquered me. You see something? Switch, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Now how how are those relationships different? Like when you when you dating a woman and you dating a man? Oh god, um. Honestly, a lot of men are are failing us because you know in some Damn. spaces, yeah, it's tragic. That's messed up, guys. In some spaces, <laughs> the women be doing better in spaces where men should be doing better. Mm -hmm. Like I would think dating a woman that I would spend more money, mm -hmm. but I gotta take care of these niggas mm -hmm. and the bitches I fuck would be having money. Yeah, you know, like yeah, whoa, yeah. what we doing? It's confusing. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I will say. To a certain extent, the emotions, I think, is a bit much for me sometimes. Yeah. It's like, bro, everything make you sad. Like, no, for sure, oh for sure. Oh, my God, bro. You know? Like, shut up. <laughs> but, you know, I never understood, like, uh, this could be me thinking dumb, but when women date women, mm -hmm. I never understood, like, why a woman wanted, like, a stud-looking woman who like a man when they could just have a nigga. Like, you got this, this motherfucker, like, made fresh with a strap on when you could just get the real nigga, like. You I don't never got a coochie underneath. Huh? She got both. Hey, but hey, but my thing if you if you like a woman, it seems like you like a woman like just just like how you are like a, like a woman like not somebody who trying to be butch like dressed like this nigga shit. With. Uh -uh. You know what I'm saying? Like what's up with that? It's some fine ass studs. They fine. They fine. Man, and they always got Mexican drawers on and shit like I, uh, team drawers and shit. This like yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> they be just they, like they with the city trends and got their whole shit like. Oh my god, that's it's some fine ass stuff. There are some like there are some stuff that be looking corny and be like, bro. Yeah. But it's some fine ass studs out here. But I I like I like it all. Yeah, for so, sure. I don't got no preference for real. Now, our dudes kind of like when you say like, hey, I I have dated women or whatever, whatever. Do they kind of like 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 oh shit, I don't know if I can get with that or are they just like they cool with it. You know, I feel like there's always like this little space at the beginning mm -hmm. where they like, oh, she a freak. They excited, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, oh, shit. She gonna give me a threesome. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? But like, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah. No, nigga. I think, um, I say with my, my last ex, I feel like he had a moment where he realized like, mm -hmm. oh, she would leave me for a bitch. Like, she yeah. like bitches for real. It's one yeah. thing when your bitch a little Playful, freaky yeah, might yeah, fuck with sure. a bitch. Yeah, but yeah. you know, she ain't gonna leave you for the bitch. Yeah. Like, no, nah, I like her more than you. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I had cut a nigga off. I told him, I said, hey, her dick better than yours. 
<laughs> he had pissed me off. <laughs> he should have left me the fuck alone. I ain't yeah. lie though. The nigga had only stayed ten minutes from me. Yeah. She stayed forty minutes from me. So you ride. I was taking taking a drive. Yeah, she going crazy. Fuck you. Hell that yeah. shit is trash. Hell You're yeah. cooked. Man, I'm yeah. out of here. That shit. Fuck. It was not working. <laughs> she got that motherfucker munching and shit. That motherfucker <laughs> scissoring that bitch. <laughs> going crazy, man. <laughs> That shit. No, let me ask you this though, because I saw since <laughs> <laughs> getting crazy. That motherfucker, <laughs> your shit ain't doing nothing, nigga. You just man just bored, working, dog. unentertained. Hell yeah, you better eat ass, boy. <laughs> but no, like, like so, like I was watching Insecure with my wife one time. Uh-huh. And I remember an episode. The dude had told. They was like, I guess they were talking about freaky shit. Mm-hmm. And he was like, Yeah, one time I had went down the man, but I, I ain't like that shit. So I'm cool. Like, can a nigga say, like, you, you say you date women. Can a nigga tell you that they dated a man before and you be cool with that shit? Okay. <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen. I'm just curious. I feel like, I feel like I have dated by dudes okay. that may not have tried it, but, you know, we know our people. Mm-hmm. And I'd be like, they a little. Yeah, a little, yeah. A little too <laughs> a little much. Wildly. Too much feminine, yeah, too much feminine yeah, energy. something a little off here, you yeah. know. So I do think I did. Well, I know for sure one of them. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. I still don't know if he dabbled, but I, probably by now. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah um, I don't think I want to talk about it. Mm-hmm. I think that's where I'm at. With okay, you. cool, 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 yeah. I think I was just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you know what, guys, we, got, we, we figure out, like you said, you like women, that's a thrill to us because we think about everything that we can do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? To both of y'all. Or we can just watch and shit go crazy on that shit because I might tap out real quick and just be like, <laughs> like I'm too excited and shit. I ain't never had this. <laughs> like, I'm happy as hell. Like, you know what I'm saying? So we look at the excitement. So I just always want to see from a woman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like I said, hey, this this is nothing. You got to put that disclaimer out. You know what I'm saying? We love everybody. You feel yeah. me? There's no, yeah. there's no judgment here. Yeah. Love who you love. You feel me? Yeah, absolutely. On to the next question. Shout <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, out everybody. Because you know, you spend too much time, man. And hey. you, you say the wrong thing, and I even know you said anything mm-hmm. wrong. You just talking. You know what I'm saying? That's why I feel bad for these comedians because I mean, you got to watch everything, bro. They cut your ass off. You just got to be an I don't give a fuck motherfucker. Yeah. Because when people try to check I don't give a fuck motherfuckers and they still be not giving a fuck, yeah. everybody just be mad like, damn, they really don't care. They don't give a fuck. Like, mm. like, shout out to, like, like uh, comedian Corey Holcomb. That nigga going to say whatever it's about women, men, mm-hmm. whoever. He don't give a fuck. Kids. Mm-hmm. That nigga don't give a fuck. And Dave he, Chappelle. Yeah. They try to cancel him. You can't cancel. He didn't give a fuck. You can't cancel a dude Dave like Chappelle that. don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, we got to, wait a minute. Like, <laughs> let's go back in history and look at Dave Chappelle. You think Dave Chappelle don't give a fuck about y'all says? Hell yeah, nigga, <laughs> nigga walked away from millions, nigga. Like, nigga so you, you that's a be... real ignorant nigga. He's no, not fake sure. ignorant. These niggas no, be fake ignorant. For sure. They be scared a little bit. He ain't scared of shit. Hell no yeah. fear. Hell fuck yeah. Fuck with that. Now, uh, you seem like a thug. You feel me? Mm. When the last time you cried, and what was the reason? Let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> what was the reason? You, last time you cried, what was the reason? Um, I like to ask people this shit, man. See what they gonna say. I think I get. I'm getting softer with age. Mm-hmm. So, at the beginning of the year, I was crying like every day. Yeah. I was crying like out the blue, but it was that face and fears thing. Mm-hmm. Like I was doing a lot of risky shit, like to believe in myself, and mm-hmm. it was just like. Wow, I haven't slept in how many days? Like, I'm really about to go do Like, I didn't even have time to cry. Mm-hmm. I had to cry on the rise to the next thing. Yeah, for sure. I'm yeah. on the drive, like, shit, like, damn, why am I crying? What the fuck? Yeah. Pull up, wipe them bitches, walk in. Hey, how y'all doing? Hell yeah, you know? fake the funk. Yeah, because shit, you feel me? When, you, when you're chasing your dreams and it gets scary, mm-hmm. naturally, most of us will procrastinate. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'll do that shit tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah I do. I do that one shit. You talk about it to your homeboys and shit. But every time I had a thought on something I should do better, I just did it yeah. in that moment. And that type of fear, excitement, whatever that feeling was, mm. shit. Yeah. You know? I ain't, I didn't feel like I was crying, sobbing, but yeah, yeah. my eyes were For crying. sure. No, yeah. for sure. For sure. We all had those moments, nigga, men and women, like, you just... When life get to hitting you and shit, like, you just... Hey, them bitches come. Like mm-hmm. I said, you ain't going crazy crying with the ugly shit, you know what I'm saying? But a little tear come down and shit. God, I think once I got older... Like certain, like different shit hit me. I don't know if it's cause like the death of my mom or something like that, but it's like mm. I watch a movie like what the fuck. <laughs> hey, let me go ahead and run to the bathroom. I don't want my kids to see me, dog. I be crying like, Mom. <laughs> like that shit hurt when your when your kids see you. Like what's wrong? They get the fuck out of here. So, um, they just killed this nigga. You ain't yeah, see that? You gotta get strong. They been working his whole life. <laughs> I beat your ass, nigga. Go in the room, like cause I'm only six, nigga. <laughs> Like you don't want to see no, but that that be fucked up on men because we don't want to even show any signs of weakness. A real man don't want, Mm -hmm. you know, say they they, because they want to have that persona. Like I'm a man, I gotta handle things. I I can't never cry. I like when my men are soft for me. 
But I, you, I you try can't to create two, safe two, spaces. Yeah, not Don't two, be a bitch. Too much. Yeah, yeah. Don't cry all the time. It's nigga. a difference. You feel me? No, for sure. It's for a sure. difference. Because it's valid. Like, okay, you stressed out, you're going through some shit or whatever the fuck may be. Sure. You know what I'm saying? You sad about your mm-hmm. mans or something, mm-hmm. the past or something. Cool. But you get to cry. <laughs> Nigga, what? What you talking about? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> you feel me? When last time not I, too fucking much. When, have a nigga ever fake cry for you? Like, did not stop you from leaving? Yes. Did it work? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm single. <laughs> no. <laughs> it might work at that time. Shit. Uh, mm, mm, he might have had me for the current moment. For sure. See, okay, I break up with niggas through text message. Damn, you just motherfuckers ruthless. I break up with them at like 5 o'clock in the morning. Like, and then I lock <laughs> oh, my don't phone. Fucking, don't do that shit before I'm about to go to work, dog. They sleep. But I try you, to catch them when they still sleep. Send it. Lock my phone. Turn off the sound. That's a terrible time, though. I'm about to wake I just up. I sleep extra long. <laughs> I'm about to wake up and go to work. This is the first thing I see. Like, yeah, I can't fuck you up. Oh, my God. That hurt, though. But I be trying to break up. With, well, I tried to break up with a nigga in person one time. And he just started crying and shit. Damn. And going off. And we not breaking up. He basically told me no. And I ended up being with the nigga a whole nother year. And I was just like, bro, what the fuck? No, no, that, so I ain't funny, but that's kind of scary, again. too, though. Cause it's like it, it, it fucked me up. Like yeah. that nigga doing a lot. I nigga fuck no, you ain't breaking over me. You like, crazy? We gonna be the kid. We gonna make this work. And it's like I already thought this through. Yeah. I don't want to do it. See, <laughs> that, that's the scary thing. I, I can't understand why you probably will want to break up with a nigga over a you know phone call or text message because niggas right now will fight you. Mm-hmm. These niggas is crazy. They weak as hell. Like you know what I'm saying. So I got a little dark. I gotta make sure I, I be on her Niggas ass, are emotionally <laughs> unstable. Yeah. Um, the one that got the fake crying, he bullied me to meet up with him because I broke up with him through text. Mm. Now you want to meet up. Why? <laughs> me, I me. left already. I don't want to come back. Don't make you change your mind. <laughs> but he just was like trying to cut into me. You never fucked with me for real. Da, 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 da. Whoa, you should have did this conversation with your mama. Because <laughs> what am I supposed to do with it? You never loved me. Maybe Man. I didn't. I don't know. Shit. It's, it's, I'm just it's, trying to rock out. You stressing me. You seem like the type of person that just want to cut deep. Like. You find some shit out like, nigga, you gonna use that shit for ammunition. Like, nigga, I'm about to cut you. Mm-hmm. I'm shooting. I be so sweet. Yeah. I just am very, like, blunt. If I don't want to be with you no sure. more, why am I about, you get what I'm saying? No, I'm dragging us both along, yeah. and it just don't make no sense. So, you know, and for the most part, I probably already had reasons and shit over time. I probably mm-hmm. said something to you, like, hey, babe, I don't really appreciate when you do that. Mm-hmm. Hey, can you work on that? For sure. But I'm not nagging nobody. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to keep on, hey, you doing this, you doing Every five yeah. seconds, I'm not no, doing for sure. that. For sure. So, if I mention here and I mention there and I, and I don't see no growth or change, then I'm going to decide to leave. Mm-hmm. Because obviously that's something innate in you that's not easy for you to change. And I'm not trying to make you change your whole, you know what I'm no, saying? No, for sure, for is. sure. And you probably can't. Most people, our character is built in unless mm-hmm. something traumatic happens to you. Yeah, for yeah. the most part, you are who you are. No, for sure. That's a fact. So, you can't I'm change not about to stress you to try yeah. to... Because you're going to only be it for five seconds before you go back to default and be no. who you are. You Hell get what yeah. I'm saying? I'm not stressing you. We don't work. I can't deal with this. You can't change it. We don't work. That's okay. For sure. So, I'm going to shoot yeah. that text. But you trying to make me come back. <laughs> Baby, I already thought about all the ways this could work, and it didn't. Yeah, for sure. So I thought about every scenario, everything. Yeah, I've been trying to make it work for months. You ain't Man. even know. You've yeah. been on the edge, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that's like... When you By the time I'm gone, I'm gone. When you were a girl, you married the club. She was on her whole shit, and you think you're going to change her up and shit? But it don't work. Motherfucker, don't even cook. She's a hoe. These niggas just be <laughs> terrible men. That'd Man. be the problem. They don't be men. I don't yeah. know what they be. So what what you think it is? What's going on? Like what 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 you, what 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 you think we fucking up on? I ain't fucking up. But I'm just saying, niggas. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm a good nigga. I think some of these <laughs> niggas hate hate women. Mm-hmm. Like it really be giving. Like you just don't like women. And I think once I started dating women, I really realized how much niggas hate women. Mm-hmm. Cause it's like, damn, I had to fucking pull a tooth and nail to get a nigga to do some shit like this, but it's automatic for me to do it for a woman. Yeah. And I'm a woman, and I'm over here like, nah, she need this. Nah, yeah. she, you feel me? You think that Let come from like this. niggas who coming from like single homes and don't even see how it is for a man to treat a woman? Cause a lot of niggas mm-hmm. like coming from you know just mama right there. That's it. I was raised by just my mama. My mama has been single most of my life. Mm-hmm. I just know that if you care about somebody, there's a certain way you should want to treat them. If I care about you and I fuck with you, I'm gonna do certain things. Automatic. You don't gotta ask me. I want to do this for you because I I fuck with you. But see, I believe like if you ain't ever seen love, you don't know how to love. I don't know about that. You feel me? I just you know because if you I never ain't seen never seen, it. seen love, <laughs> ain't nobody no healthy relationships in my family. No shade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nobody never seen no positive yeah. form of love ever. Mm-hmm. And I'm not gonna say I'm the best person in the world because I'm not as affectionate as I should be. Yeah. Opinion. See, that could be because of the whole. We ain't, you ain't seen it. If you ain't seen yeah. it, you just don't, you don't know. But I know there's certain things you just do. Yeah, for sure. I mean, common sense. Naturally, common sense. you should just 
do it. Mm-hmm. And these niggas don't be doing. And they want to. I had a nigga tell me. I, I mentioned my soft mention. <laughs> hey, you know, babe, you never really compliment me or you know flirt with me for real. All them niggas on your Instagram be yeah, that's sending you her shit. eyes that's, and shit. Yeah, you got enough compliments from the internet. I'm not telling you nothing. Yeah. Sir. We just talking about that shit on the show. We just talking <laughs> about this fuck? shit. Like, it be the littlest things. Like I said, I, once again, I, this nigga told me, like, it's, it's those little things you got to notice with, in the woman. Mm. You know what I'm saying? With your woman and stuff. And let her know. Like I said, when you came down here, like, damn, you smell good. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah. you go home with your nigga, like, nigga, you smell like you there all the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta know what the and challenge is. And then you wonder is. why a bitch don't want to be with you. <laughs> yeah. I get more attention at the gas station. I told him that. That nigga told his mom time about, yeah, she said she wants to date guys at the gas station. But I didn't say that. <laughs> Now, why would you go out to mama about that? But you got to peep that shit. Like, my wife came in the crib with a new little hairdo. Like, damn, that shit look good. Yeah. I'm going to beat the niggas to it. So, a nigga say something, nigga, ah, man, I heard that shit. Man, fuck out of here. You supposed to be, and it's the same thing with your partner or your kids or whatever. No, for you sure. You should facts. always be fulfilled before you leave your house. No, that's Nobody fair. else I should agree. even have space to fill you. Mm-hmm. I should be full. These niggas, they should be going over my head. Because mm-hmm. I was full when I left from my man. For sure. And you telling me about some internet shit. Like, <laughs> no, I'm supposed yeah, to I mean, value an yeah, internet nigga. That's why I cut that, cut that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I can say that. That shit is fucking embarrassing. Like, your opinion is the one that matters. I need it from you. No, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm outside, unfulfilled. Mm-hmm. Fuck these niggas' opinions. Damn, I just broke my back to get yeah. cute to go on this date. And you just like... Yeah, like she, you were like nigga. I seen it. Fuck me. <laughs> like, no, I would get ready for three hours, bitch. Yeah. Like, no, that's weak as fuck for her to say they can get that love you get on the internet. Cause, yeah. yeah, that shit weak. Though. Hey, you, hey, you hate women, Craig, Demario, nigga, Dominique, nigga, all y'all niggas, dog. Get y'all shit right, dog. Man, for real, get y'all shit together, man. Because if real. a nigga get a fresh haircut, but I do too much. My ex used to Facetime me. Hey, I'm like, you know, you had to fade. Okay, you gotta yeah. highlight it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta yeah. you supposed sure. to. Fly with your partner. It's that yeah. fucking easy. Like, do you not think they look good? Like, yeah. why does it hurt you to tell somebody that you? Yeah, think they look good? and you wonder why a nigga go to work like nigga. All them girls on they like, oh shit, you love? Oh shit, for real? You go to the crib, nigga. She and that bitch just chilling there, stinking. <laughs> nigga ain't got nothing. You, know, you don't got no opinion. Yeah. Like, she smell good or not? So yeah. shit, she said fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, fuck ain't, it. <laughs> motherfucker ain't even dressed up nothing. Like, damn, it's a good day outside. I, you know what I'm saying? It's eighty degrees. Come on. No, yeah. I'm right here, nigga, chilling. And them niggas' homeboys be the ones in her DM telling yeah. her she fine, cause that done happen in every situation. I'm like, damn. Yeah, yeah. Your man flirted me more than you. I'm yeah. scared of y'all. That's fucked up too. Yeah, that's fucked up. Ass. Yeah, you got some niggas out here. Don't give a fuck though. And you got some bitches that's gonna go for that shit. Yeah. So fill your girl up before yeah. she lead out. Yeah, cause that's one thing. That's Single or not, my man's girl. Even when they break up, that's always gonna be your. It girl. should always be a knocker. Like, oh, that's all. That's your nigga. That's your chick, nigga. Like, nigga, she, nigga, she go with. She got three other relationships. She been here since that nigga. That's still my man's girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't give For a real. fuck. That's how it's supposed to be. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Damn, we ain't we ain't talk about some shit. But uh, <laughs> shit, talk about like you already kind of like you basically tell me how you was growing up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just you and your moms and shit. Mm-hmm. Do do you have a relationship with your father? Mm. Oh, so it's no Happy Father's Day and shit on Sunday for you? Nah, <laughs> no. My mama got a boyfriend now that. Mm. You know, she's had for a couple years. Okay. And he do little father-like shit he that cool I've never him? seen before. And he be, um, like, he'd go change my oil. Like, mm-hmm. hey, I let your keys in the car. And I was like, for oh, sure. shit. Yeah. I ain't never seen that before. You <laughs> feel me? That's this bitch up. was going to ride out, okay, yeah. until you got to making noises. Then I was going to get a oil change. You know? <laughs> <So>. <laughs> that last minute shit, dog. This nigga just got on me the other day because I had some uh, baby mama uh, tires in the front. Oh, my the God. The ball bitches and shit, dog. I can't. I was looking like a big mama in that motherfucker, oh dog. Oh, my God. Straight, straight, not take care of kids, all mm-hmm. that shit, dog. No gas. Lights, <laughs> lights on. <laughs> get everything Engine up. lights, low pressure on the tire. <laughs> you still, but you go out looking good <laughs> going to the club and shit, dog. Damn. Yep. That's funny as hell. Now, do you ever think, like, if you have your father around, like, full time, like, life would be different or you might look at guys different? You know what I'm saying? So, if I had my father around, mm-hmm. I probably would be more fucked up. So happy that he not around. <laughs> well, maybe he ain't right. If he, was, if he was around in a positive, as a positive, you know, positive role. If there was another man yeah. in my life for a positive role, because mm-hmm. he can't do positivity. Damn. But another man, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe I would be softer. Mm-hmm. I I'm working on being softer. That's what I've been telling people. Sure. You know, the bitch has been talking about they want to be in a soft girl era. Yeah. I'm testing that out. Hell yeah, see yeah, yeah. trying to see what that be like and shit. Trying to see what that shit hit, yeah, yeah, for sure. See if that shit work out. Uh-huh. Now, if you had to introduce yourself to the world, but only through a song or an album, what what, what would that be? Ooh. 
Yeah, it got deep and shit, you know. Yeah, it did. Niggas ain't gonna ask you these questions, you feel me? Shit. It's, it's, it's a you should have texted this one <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know. I... See, it's, it's albums I like, but I don't know if they... Like, represent you. Represent like, I'm here. Me. Like, you press and play. This is one fucking Queen Mache right here. It's me. I ain't got to talk to you. Press play. Mm. I feel like you are more confessions. <laughs> Like, this nigga think I'm toxic. Like, oh. <laughs> like, you know what? Oh shit! These are my confessions. I feel like I—I <laughs> I don't even know if this is the answer, but I think the the closest I'm gonna get to it mm. is Alicia Keys. Okay. Yeah. What's what, what's the, the song um, album? The one with Unbreakable on it. I had the mm. unplugged version. It was live. Okay, 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 okay. Hell no. Fuego. Hell no. Nah. But she's just saying bullshit. But I guess that is true. Mm-hmm. Because I'll be taking my niggas back. Yeah. Let's just take her nigga back. <laughs> so Unbreakable was on there. That's perfect. That's yeah, me. for sure. Pack now, when it comes to this music shit, I know <laughs> this wasn't a love of yours until you got older. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, I think yo. Your shit came from like a poem or something about a nigga, right? Mm-hmm. So I like, just talk about once that shit became something that you really wanted to do. I know you went to the studio with your dude at the time, this then the third. He was hating on you and shit. Mm-hmm. Hey, I know your story a little bit. I was, yeah. yeah, I was trying to look look you up and shit. Yeah. But yeah, talk about when that shit became realistic that you felt like you can eat off this year, or maybe in the future you can eat off of it. Yeah, he told me I was trash, so I was insecure yeah, about music up. for a while. Yeah, he didn't even want me to go to the studio. Like, he wouldn't plug me in or nothing. He was yeah. like, you don't need to do music. I was like, he probably was hate like, damn, he gonna like her. I'm crying. <laughs> yeah, interesting. But I think that it took a while, mm. honestly. Probably probably until 2020 when I got offered my first TV deal. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, shit, maybe I do music for real, you know? Because before that, it was like, that kind of always rang in my head that he said I was trash no, and sure. I just kind of always believed it like I was still making music just for the culture but yeah. I didn't really feel like it was something I could actually do until mm-hmm. I got the offers and it was like oh the other people think that I'm good yeah hey, fuck me yeah yeah so I think that was a moment and that's when it, yeah so everybody telling you you dope kind of like you know you know saying fuels you to go ahead and keep it keep it going mm. I should or, be doing stuff sometimes I was saying you like mm, no not really because <laughs> literally people would be like oh that's fire I'm like it's not yeah, it's trash. No, hell no. No, I really like because uh, last EP you had dropped twenty twenty one. Uh, co- uh, we are one. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That I feel like that's especially the first two songs, one with Jamar, mm-hmm. and then the uh, second song, um, Wide Open. Yeah, mm-hmm. that shit was hard. Like I love, I love mm-hmm. those songs and shit. Like I, 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 I fuck with your voice and everything. Thank you. So with that EP, like, did you like, did you have any expectations? Like, all right, this is gonna do this, or I want this to do that, mm-hmm. or did, did it meet those expectations? I had been doing music years before I even dropped that. Like, I wasn't even going to drop it. Mm-hmm. My friends was on my neck. I'm like, fuck it. But those were throwaway songs because mm-hmm. I thought they was trash. Um, I didn't expect nobody to listen to it because mm-hmm. I was just like, fuck it. Yeah. Like, I felt like I never wanted to put nothing out because I'm like, nobody going to listen to it. And I already got it. So I'm going to be the only person to listen to it. <laughs> yeah, I might as well sure. just play this shit from my phone. Yeah, like, man, I'm yeah, rocking out. <laughs> so I only put it out because my friends pressured it. And, you know, people fuck with it. So it was cool. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I definitely didn't expect it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, talk about the bars. I, I'm going to give a bar from a song. We're going to talk about it. Because okay. like, the song you and Jamar went, that shit was hard. Both of y'all Thank went you. crazy on that shit. So you got a line. You say, uh, "You might have been the one for me in another in another life." Mm. On Star Cross, like talk about that. Like, do you have those situations where like you a good nigga or you a good chick, but mm. we can never be like maybe when I die I come back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like how fucked up is that? Because like yeah. I had those situations with a young lady. Like, dog, like we just can't be together. But you know, we maybe maybe we rock out when I come back to this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. So talk about that. Like, is that hard to deal with? Like knowing you can't be with that person? Yeah, the tape was actually about somebody you know so mm. we definitely went through that mm. um i also say if there was no expectations mm-hmm. i would run a place this, this mm. is life yeah. this got bills yeah. this got goals like nigga you can't just be out here doing nothing he yeah. like if it was just like spirit to spirit he would be the one for me for sure, for sure. like to for this sure. day I, I feel like he loved my life yeah. but he not I'm going to go crazy because he know I be going crazy. Yeah. He a bum. He be on bullshit. Yeah. You feel me? Get your shit together. Yeah. Like, nigga, what are you doing? So, so is he hoping if he get shit together, though? No. At this okay, point, okay, no. Okay, okay, but 
like up until probably <laughs> last year, questionably. Yeah. He be on some bullshit. Yeah. And he know that my like when my stand so we we started here. For sure. You know, and it was like, nigga, get it together. He tried for me. It was so sweet. For sure. Aww. Damn, that shit messed up. But it was no. sweet. You know when a girl say it was sweet, that shit wasn't shit. Like. It was sweet. Okay. Because hey, he had really got jobs and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was quitting them bitches. You know how niggas <laughs> go see the lady? He went and got a job. Hey, baby, no. I went and got a job. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you proud of me? <laughs> Like, you know, let me take him back. Come on, baby. He got a no, job now. That shit funny, though. You Shout know? out to niggas who get them jobs. Yeah. Now, you, yeah, you was in your bag. Because you like, if I focus on the money, I won't think about you. If I wake up through the night, no time to dream about you. Damn. Mm-hmm. So you ain't even sleeping. Like, <laughs> I was really going track through too, it during COVID. Because I think that was, like, the longest time we was apart, like, oh, yeah. without choice. Yeah. Um. And COVID, I feel like, is really what led me to actually leave him alone for real. I I was on and off with him for several years. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. It was just like, damn. Yeah. Like, what am I about to do? Like, I need to leave this nigga alone. And I, I just could not stop thinking about him mm-hmm. all fucking day. Yeah. So, I was just learning how to do random shit. Yeah, for sure. I learned sure. how to engineer. I learned <laughs> how to make beats. Yeah, I started busy. fucking <laughs> playing GTA till the sun came <laughs> up. Made a million dollars a night in the casino on that bitch. Man, being Good busy little, as fuck. Uh, GTA. But no, that shit will fuck with you, like... You know, you go through those breakups. I mean, I went through a breakup, went back, moved my mama and shit, and I'm just sitting on the same spot in the couch every day. Mm-hmm. Like, she go to work, I'm right there. Like, fuck. Like, all right, let me get my mm-hmm. dumb ass up and go ahead and get this shit moving. Mm-hmm. Then I wind up getting a job with her. Ain't that about a bitch? Damn. You see her happy and shit, like. But then my mom threatened me, like, if you don't take that job, nigga, get the fuck out of my house. Like, all right, fuck. Tell I gotta be here. <laughs> she that bitch clean up, smiling. I mean, that bitch, like, this motherfucker happy. We just broke up. Like, no, you supposed to be sick. <laughs> you supposed to be like me, fuck up. She was that bitch Man. cleaning up, nigga, singing and shit. <laughs> I mean, that motherfucker just head down, vacuuming and shit, dude. Oh, my God. They say it's different for men and women. Yeah. So. Yeah, because that's like when, with, with dudes, we think we can cheat. You probably argue me about this. We can cheat and still love you. When y'all cheat, y'all just, y'all over the shit because y'all invest into that person y'all cheated with. When we cheat, we can just go ahead and say, I'm not condoning it. I'm not saying this is right, mm-hmm. but that's just how some niggas think. I'm not even saying I think like that, you know what I'm saying? Just to FYI. But, you know, niggas could cheat. And then still, you know, fuck her. I'm I'm in love with my chick. Like, how you feel about that? Mm, I don't feel like there's no difference between gender roles. Mm. I think that women can cheat too and then still love their nigga. And come back to the crib and everything good. But it seems like y'all more emotionally invested. So it's like, if I'm going to fuck with this nigga, I, I got I to gotta like something about him. Um, I... I don't know. It's some bitches out here that really don't give no fucks. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I don't know. I think some of them out here they probably don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know? Because yeah, it's a lot of... Now, let's tell the truth, though. Mm-hmm. A lot of niggas cheat with bitches they they love, too. Yeah. Niggas be loving that other bitch. <laughs> they be going home back to their bitch. They love their bitch, too. Yeah. But that other bitch probably yeah. been around for about six years. And for she sure. got something special with him. And, you know, I'm you know, I'm fucking baby girl. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So I think it's very similar. I think there's just a certain personality type that just be fucking with anything. And then for going sure. home. Hell yeah. And then everybody else be going to the other person they love. Yeah, yeah for sure. Shit fucked up, man. Hey, don't cheat out here, y'all. Mm-mm. Well, I ain't condoning that shit. <laughs> now, in the song Hard, you say, I told you I was broken. You broke me again. A lot of times, we get into these relationships with, with dudes and women who got shit going on. We think that we could change it, but we really can't because they not over that, that, that last situation. Mm-hmm. So, let's talk about that a little bit. Like, you, you already fucked up, but you didn't fuck me up again. Like, mm-hmm. goddamn. Like, what the fuck, cuz? You hurt me. This is also about him. He <laughs> got... All my songs about him. I said I was done. I made a song called No More Love Songs and still made more. God damn. Yeah. I finally started making songs about other people. For but sure. fuck, it took a long time. Like, this nigga got songs for like six, seven years. Man. Take me out the game. Hey, hey, hey. We need those people. Like Mary J. Blige, we need her to hurt. Yeah. To get good music. Hurt. Very true. Don't be happy. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. But, um, no, nah, I was just, I made hard because... And it was me talking about breaking up. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it's not that hard to break up with you. I'm about to break with your ass right now. For sure. I think I did break up with him after I made the song, too. So. Um, the funny as hell. He kept trying to come in my house at fucking 5 o'clock in the morning. Boy, if you're not going to come at yeah. a reasonable time, stay your ass at home. For sure. So, yeah, it was just like, damn, like, you be on bullshit. Mm-hmm. You keep on doing this shit. Like, nigga, I just stay and fucking made food and dinner and shit. You talking about you about to be on your way? Yeah. Now you on Instagram, turned up with your niggas. <laughs> Talking about I'm about to leave in a minute. Man. Knocking on my door at fucking 5 a.m. Go to hell. Food fucked up everything. You yeah. threw it away and shit. Like, what the fuck? What's your go-to meal for a nigga? 
If, mm-hmm. if, if you're trying to like, if he you like him, like, nigga, this nigga, good nigga, I'm going to cook for him and shit, you know what I'm saying? What what be your go-to shit, you feel me? Um, I really like making this, like, chicken pasta parmesan. Mm-hmm. Oh, whatever, that shit sounds good already, like, shit, I'm hungry. Rice. With broccoli and cheese is good. For sure. And or like steak and potatoes, just because I love steak and potatoes. Yeah. You can't go wrong with steak and potatoes. How you how you like your steak? Cause I, 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 my, my cousin like, man, I got to get it like this now. I've been getting that shit wrong the whole time. Like, I some... do get my shit medium or medium rare, depending on where I'm going. Yeah. But I go medium if it's a place that don't listen. <laughs> For sure. You feel me? Yeah. If I go somewhere where I know that y'all always overcook the shit, I tell you fucking medium and you give me mm-hmm. some shit that's cooked. It's supposed to have blood in there. You get yes, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll I do medium well. I really want my shit to be medium well. Mm-hmm. But if I tell you medium, yeah. you might give me medium well. For sure. If I tell you medium well, that bitch, that bitch might not even be cooked. Yeah, if I say medium <laughs> well, no, that bitch going to be yeah. extra done. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That bitch, yeah. Dried out. Yeah. Like, damn. I said medium See, well. See, I just been that bitch like, my shit well, well done. As soon as you get well done, your teeth going to break off. <laughs> Them niggas be frying that shit hard. Like, oh, you want the bitch well done? Wing. Hell yeah. Now, we, we talk about, um before, you know, I can't leave off without talking about Detroit Icon. Mm. Uh, I see you had that. Where, you know what I'm saying? I know, uh, uh, have you, you haven't done nothing with that, right? As far as like the artist interviews, breaking down songs. Oh, yeah. I got videos out for that. Okay, okay. Talk about that. Like, what, what's what's uh, what's Detroit Icon? What's that all about? Um, so in general, that's just the the business. So I do mm-hmm. the showcase. Uh, excuse me, showcases under that mm-hmm. iconic studios is under that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the the basically it's genius videos. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So they For are sure. breaking down their songs mm-hmm. or whatever. So uh, it's called Icon Explained. Mm-hmm. Um, and I do interviews here and there. I've slowed up, mm-hmm. but just all the business stuff in general me mm. with all my hands and all these different little pots but just different stuff for artistry now is that is that something you're gonna do more of more interviews with artists more you know what i'm saying or just gonna be like you want to focus on the showcase because i know you got a showcase coming up soon right so i'm at the point where i'm doing like 16 to 20 shows a month mm-hmm. and it's very strenuous for sure i'm spread very thin so it is like i would like to do other things but mm. I don't really yeah. got no time to. So I do have shows coming up, but I have like a billion. So yeah. So you want yeah. it's nothing like you going you are like hiring niggas and like they they be the ones. All right, they conduct interviews. They do this. They do that. Mm-hmm. Like now with the interviews, I was trying to hire other people to take over, like doing that. But I think that the value that people find in doing the interviews is doing them with me. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I would have to give other jobs away so that I could be in person for those kinds of for things. Sure. You know for what sure. I mean? So, so right now you ain't really trying to fuck with that shit, the interviews and shit, like no podcast shit, nothing like that. I want to do a podcast so bad. Listen, I'm just throwing this out there because fuck it. But yeah. I want to start a podcast and I want to name it I'm the problem because I'm a little toxic mm-hmm. and I just want to go in there and tell my truth. Yeah, okay. splash. So it's going to be just, toxic. it's going to be you, other people, like how, how, how would that shit be? Um, I got this one friend that I think I would want on there just because he always had me exposing myself. Okay. Like, he just asked the right questions. And I'd yeah. be, like, answering them genuinely, but sure. apparently I'd be saying bullshit. Yeah. Because, so. like, right now, yeah. there's a lot of people that got, you know, podcasts and shit right now going on and shit like that. So, I mean, shit, you got the space? Like, why not? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Go absolutely. for it, shit. But you, you probably get a motherfucking billion views on one. Like, you know what? I'm done. This episode three, <laughs> that bitch made too much noise. If it go viral, <laughs> shit, I might be done. It's a, it's a rap. Run that shit back. It's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a motherfucking rap. It's a rap. Now, back to the music, like, with ladies and stuff like that, like, working with ladies, like, how is that? And as far as, like, do you see, I don't see a lot of women working together when it comes to the music shit. Mm. So, what, how do you feel about collabs in the city when it comes to, like, you and other ladies, or is that something you look forward to, or you just don't give a fuck? I'm not necessarily against it. Mm-hmm. I am. Most of my songs are with people I consider friends, and mm-hmm. I am a tomboy. I do have more male friends than I do female friends. Mm-hmm. Um, but also, when it comes to the girls, when it comes to singing, me personally, I don't necessarily love when it's more than one girl singing on a song if their voices don't make sense. No, no, you no, can have sure. a man and a woman on a song and they have different tones and stuff and it's fine. But like, if I got a soft ass voice, I'm on a song with another girl with a soft ass voice, they don't even know that it's two bitches on a song. <laughs> yeah, I don't sure. like shit like that. Yeah, yeah, for but sure. I also don't, I got a friend, she sing her ass off. Like, she wanna do a song together, I'm gonna do it. But like, yeah. Baby, you Jasmine Sullivan. Yeah, I'm Jenna yeah. Echo. Okay, yeah, sure. we're not supposed to do shit together. You know what I'm saying? So sure. I just think that the the closeness of it just I be trying to avoid. Now we're working with guys. How, how tough is that? Like, we got because you say you work with a lot of your friends, mm-hmm. but like when you working with random guys, how many of those dudes like hitting you up through DM? They want to work on music, but they just want to fuck. Yeah. So because you got a lot of those like they you got some niggas that really want to work, but you got some niggas who really want to work don't. you. I I usually <laughs> just um. 
I don't do in person stuff no more. So okay. okay. Everything so you send is verse. separate. Yeah. So if you want to send the money, send the thing, I'll send it to you, you know, mm-hmm. when I'm done. But I don't do nothing in person. And I have lost out, like missed out on money for that. Like mm-hmm. I'm sorry, that's just not what I do. What if you just come like you got homies, like what if they come with you if y'all if you're doing the shit? I used to do that. I used to go pick up all my niggas and be five of us in the car, we pull up deep as hell. Sure. I buy these niggas some county. <laughs> niggas <laughs> sure. easy. Yeah. What you want? You hungry? Yeah, yeah, nigga, for sure. For um, sure. But it's just like it just be weird. Because you get there And now I got all these niggas So now niggas feel pressured Because mm-hmm. you ain't even worked on shit You ain't yeah. even picked a beat yeah. Oh you was on bullshit Yep Okay So I just don't Yeah And I just tell niggas from the jump I'm, I'm not doing it And people be having studios And they house and stuff And no mm-hmm. Yeah for sure I'm for about sure. to be in the trenches Walking into your house In the middle of the night Yeah No Yeah <laughs> for sure For sure <laughs> now, now back to the showcase real quick mm-hmm. When you do these showcases And these artists is coming on mm-hmm. Do it Do it depends on like Alright If I fuck with the music Or if you're paying, like, how do you go about selecting artists for your showcase? Um, every show is different. So the cash prize shows, you paying. You know mm. what I'm saying? To compete. Um, I do shows sometimes where I just pick out people that I'm a fan of and I have mm. them come out. And then I have, like, open mics, like, you know, mm. you come, eat, drink, anybody can sign up type yeah. shit. So it, it varies. Um, a lot of times I'll have people I've never met at the show, so I'm mm. always meeting new artists. So it's not necessarily like, if you're bad, I'm not going to let you come. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing. Yeah. How many artists do you see? Like, why the fuck you even waste your time coming on here? Like, Because I'll be seeing some shit on this one shit. I ain't going to even put the page out there. None. I'll be like, what the fuck? You know. <laughs> like, 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 nigga, y'all niggas sound ass. I, I don't. <laughs> my only thing with with music mm-hmm. is that I wish we were more honest. And me personally, like I said, I used to be shy. I'm still a little shy on the inside. Mm-hmm. I'm not about to tell you nobody they ass. Mm-hmm. I'm no. never going to Well, nowadays, niggas are trying to kill you. Shit, but yeah, but we should be more honest because really, it's mean not telling a nigga. No, for letting sure. Letting a nigga spend all this money on videos and mm-hmm. studio time and all this time that he could be spending doing something more valuable for, sure. for him. For sure. But instead, we lie because we're afraid of the truth. We're afraid to say, hey, nigga, that's not really your steez. And mm-hmm. that's okay if that's not your steez. Everything not for you. It ain't. It ain't. A lot of these niggas need to understand just because your boy can rap don't mean you can. Mm-hmm. Just because your homegirl can sing don't mean you can. Like, yeah. And you need those people in your circle who going to tell you the motherfucking truth. Mm-hmm. That's it, dog. Like, I remember uh, when Kido used to do the re- review shit. I never understood why niggas getting so mad. Nigga, you trash. If you trash, you trash. Or if you don't want that nigga opinion, don't send it. You feel me? But people be thinking they the <laughs> best niggas in the world. Like, even even on my Cash Five shows, I done had niggas threaten me, want to fight me and shit, because they ain't win. <laughs> oh, my God. You think you the best nigga that ever rapped, huh? <laughs> you for sure was going to win. Yeah. Out of all these people competing, out of all the talent you just saw, for you sure. know for sure. Yeah. That money should have been yours. I'm scared of you. And you had one dude. I got to get him on the show, man. I, I really like that nigga music. Uh, Saka, the mm-hmm. Renegade. Yeah. You did something with him, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. He, that nigga really, could really rap. He does. Like, and back when I, I was talking about how I used to be a hater. I was a big hater back in the day. Like, when I wanted to do music, I was a hater. <laughs> we got to be like little name tags. Quitter. Hater. hater. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. I used to hate, man. Like, niggas used to love everybody, dog. Like, I'm like, dog, these niggas, man, fuck them niggas, fuck them. Now nah, I like these niggas, dog. Like, yeah. I used to be hating Bayface, Ray, Peasy, all these niggas, I used to be hating. Yeah. I wanted to rap Dope Boy Cash out. <laughs> Especially when that one song came on, everybody throwing ass to it. Like, I'm in that bitch, right. ass hell. Ryan. Let like, me go ahead and get one of these I'm bitches. I'm like, this nigga ain't better than me. Yeah. Did you just playing mad. my shit in here. <laughs> for sure, for sure. But then it was just hate because I was mad at, my, at, at, at the fact that my shit wasn't popping off and shit, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you got hate, quit. Hey. Quit the hate. Quit the hate. I was, was, was quick to hate for real. That's a good show. That's a good show. Quit the hate. Yeah, but no, uh, would you ever do some shit like that? Like, keep it real with somebody and just, like, do a, a artist review? Because I'm trying to figure out a way to do that shit without being like everybody else. That's why I never did it. Like, I want to do a yeah. breakdown a different way. I ain't going to put it on the show so niggas steal my idea. But have you ever thought about some shit like that? When, um, RIP to Caesar. But when Caesar had New Music Mondays, I was on there. Yeah. And. I used to give my honest opinion. Mm-hmm. Now, my thing is, unprovoked, oh, baby, I'm on my business. Mm-hmm. I'm never going to say nothing. I'm going to show you much love. I'm a co- Now, one thing about me, I'm going to compliment something. Mm-hmm. That be hard. Yeah, for sure. That's all I got to say. Yeah. I ain't going to talk about the song. <laughs> that beat, baby. Hey, hold on. Whenever somebody Your beat say, collection is crazy. Whenever somebody say that, you know you trash. That's the niggas go to. Be hard. Like, hey. nigga, ain't my beat, nigga. Fuck. Nigga. <laughs> like, I ain't made the beat. <laughs> I love how your voice sound on the track. Yeah. Your tone is crazy. That shit, your ad libs. Like what you said was some bullshit, but your tone on the track and that beat, nigga. 
The, me? That's the number one way for a nigga say you trash without saying you trash. That'd yeah. be hard. I'm going to figure something out. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, when I was on New Music Mondays, I'm being asked to give my answer. And I definitely mm. was pissing some people off. Yeah. Because I was, turn it off. Yeah. Nah, that's not it. Yeah. Next. Because we can only fit so many songs in. For sure. So I was cutting them bitches off. Now, Caesar, was what he the um, dark skinned, skinny dude? Yeah. Yeah, he was he from, from Ohio? Sure. Or, I don't know. When I met him. He was here, but he might have been. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it because um he passed away maybe like a few years back, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I think I had sent the song again. He's like, damn, I never heard this nigga, but the shit straight. Like, <laughs> who is this nigga? And I felt good by myself. Like, yeah, that's your heart. <laughs> like, they don't know me, nigga. My heart. <laughs> man. <laughs> no, shout out, rest in peace, man. That shit. Yeah. Yeah. He was, he was a young dude, young dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah but uh, kind of what's ain't do reviews too a little bit. He don't do it no more. Uh, DJ BJ and the other guy. Oh yeah, yeah. They was on for a second. Was that Renzo? I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. They, and niggas being their feelings. Like, dog, I don't understand. Like, just if you don't want the truth, don't send your shit in. Yeah. Is that is that simple and that easy? You know what I'm saying? But niggas don't. I don't know. These niggas be angry. Yeah, niggas be. Yeah. You know they say we artists we sensitive about our shit. These mm-hmm. niggas is sensitive for real. Yeah, no, I'm niggas. I'm yeah. fucking scared of them. No, for sure. They gotta shit. stop. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Are we getting death threats? Yeah, that shit. Other crazy. showcases. They yeah. have got to stop. Yeah, that shit wild. Crazy. That shit wild. Hey man, hey y'all niggas, just don't do it, dog. Y'all niggas <laughs> ass. Just stop. Don't compete. Or get somebody in your circle who really gonna tell you the truth before somebody you don't know tell you the truth. And you be in your feelings, nigga. You need some niggas crazy. in your bitch. Send it me, I'll tell you the truth, nigga. I gotta die for it. <laughs> yeah, that shit wild. That shit wild. Now, you being you you being an artist, I do this thing called making a band mm. where your dream scenario as far as like a group, you and five other people. You and four other people. To make this album, it could be producers, singers, rappers, however you want to do it. You and four other people who will make this dream collaboration of an album. Mm. So Drake. Okay. Of course, you say of course, like. Duh. Yeah. I want this bitch to slap Drake. <laughs> For sure. So you and Drake. Sam Smith. Sam Smith. I love. Sam that that first Smith. album was hard as fuck. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. I Please. Was- Hey, that <laughs> shit. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just hard, dog. I love him. This is one nigga talking about he gay. I can't listen to it. That nigga's can sing. People bro. kill me with that. He was talking about a nigga. Okay, but you fuck. was singing that shit last that, year. Yeah, that Frank Ocean song was hard. You find out he was talking about Craig. Frank, he on the list. Yeah, that's just hard. My whole tape gonna be gay. <laughs> oh, Drake ain't gay. Drake ain't gay. <laughs> we don't know what he do. Drake. <laughs> <laughs> so you, Drake, Frank, Sam, Frank Ocean, Sam Smith. You got one more spot. Let's oh, pick a producer. Jasmine. Oh, Jab Seven? Okay. That's a little toxic. A little, a little angry. A little motherfucking. Yeah, that's Toxic, it. emotional, yeah. raw. Ooh, no. everybody can sing. Yeah, that sounds smooth, though. That, that first yeah. album, I, only, I ain't heard nothing that since. Mm. For real, but that first album, that motherfucker was going crazy. See, that's that getting sensitive to them older shit. I had that shit on in the morning one day. I was crying on the way to work. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I don't even Man. know who I'm crying about. For sure, I just cry. that shit. He liked this. Ah. Oh, then shit. I cried again. <laughs> I get... love you, Sam. <laughs> he love me. He love me. What's some young nigga shit versus some shit you've been through? Meaning like some shit that you don't agree with as of now that you know saying you you thought was the shit as a younger. Mm, example. Alright, when I was eighteen, I'm like, I'll never eat no pussy. Okay. Me now, bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> you say the wrong thing saying example, I'm ready for that. <laughs> answer quick as hell. No thought involved or nothing. 18, oh, I would never. Ready. I would never. Um, <laughs> I was like, I never want to drink. Yeah. Nah, you going ham. I done had to slow down. I went so crazy. You yeah. know, I was acting up. Hell yeah, you marrying bottles and shit. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I had a moment during COVID mm-hmm. where I was buying all the Duce bottles in the store. Anytime I walked in the store, like, yeah. how many y'all got? Oh shit! Yeah, give me them bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, man. That, that's For how we real. gotta have a. Uh, we gotta have some drinks on deck and shit. It's too yeah, early. Yeah, I got best on practice and shit. I got me a little splash. <laughs> oh yeah, hell yeah. What, what would you do differently with the start of uh, your music shit? Like, mm. I would. Quite honestly, I I'm happy that I waited as long as I did to mm-hmm. drop a project because I do think I grew into my sound, mm-hmm. and I would be mad as fuck if I dropped that old shit. Mm-hmm, okay. Mm-hmm. Um. I wish I had dropped nothing. I wish, actually, I would prefer if I still hadn't dropped anything. If I would have just been saving throughout this time, mm. building up the catalog, and then just dropped with a lot of push and a lot sure. of videos, and you know, because mm-hmm. we be trying to do stuff all in the moment, willy nilly, without the funding, and it's like music is expensive. Oh shit! Yeah. It makes so much more sense to just stack up. Mm-hmm. But you know, we emotional about the shit we want to share and all that shit. 
and sharing. That's mm-hmm. a huge thing. Like songs, my heart just came out when I recorded that shit six years ago, seven years ago. Mm-hmm. Everybody didn't fucking heard it, and then yeah. I drop it, and I'm mad at niggas not listening to it. Yeah. It's not new to them. Yeah, this is an old classic. Mm-hmm. The fuck, it's not new. You know, I have to stop sharing. You're drop your greatest hits in this bitch. Yeah, like what the fuck? <laughs> For sure, hell yeah, hell yeah. So. What's your advice to someone who wants to start just anything? It ain't gotta be music, it be whatever they profession is. What's your what's some advice to somebody who you know you just want to you know get into something? Um, like I said, definitely the face your fears thing. Mm-hmm. I started off like when I was younger being a talker. Mm-hmm. I hate talkers now. That's my biggest pet peeve. <laughs> so as nigga get to talking, don't talk me to death. <laughs> nigga, if you gonna do it, you know. Yeah, now I'm all action. Selling dreams in this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. But people be telling these self dreams and that's mm-hmm. how I was. It's like, oh I'm gonna do this. Oh yeah, next summer I'm gonna do it. Why you gotta wait till next summer? For sure. Why you can't do it right now? Mm-hmm. Get up right now. You wanna do what? Look it up. Buy yeah. that. No, Whatever, for sure. You know? Yeah. So just Going for that shit full on, full throttle, whether you're scared or not, whatever the case may be, just for sure take the risk. Okay, okay. Now, we before we get to the last thing, we do this thing called the uh, top three. Mm. I give you something, you give me your top three. Okay. So, like, for instance, we start off, give me your top three foods steak, mm-hmm. chicken, mm-hmm. macaroni. All right, macaroni, how you like the macaroni? Stiff, uh, you know, you want that much to, to fall off the motherfucking spoon easy. I think stiff. Yeah, I like that stiff shit. Yeah. All right, baby, give me your. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Pause. Yeah, I, I, I don't like the stiff shit, but yeah, that stiff. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> this is my second pause moment in a row. Oh my god. So, yeah, I like that stiff macaroni. Uh, yeah, it's that, specify. Yeah, yeah. Break it down for the people. <laughs> yeah, 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 I like that stiff shit too, cuz. Pause. Resume, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the resume is crazy. <laughs> give me your top three moments in life so far. Mmm. A little deep. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Top three moments in life. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'll just be out here. <laughs> I'm still living. See, I'm still living. Um, I don't know. I, I like going on vacation, so mm. maybe trips. But yeah. other than that. You still living on? Mm. Damn. <laughs> I got to live better. <laughs> Damn, yeah, it's fucked up. <laughs> you come on. I, 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 one moment is fucking graduating college. Nah, or just I going. wish I cared. I didn't. <laughs> you know how you be feeling like you should be emotional about some shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, but I was just like, this shit over with, nigga. I've been here for five years, nigga. Man, Fuck throwing the showcase, putting out a project. Mm. <laughs> oh, my biggest yep. moment. My first Detroit Icon showcase. The first time I gave away $2,000. Okay. I was so excited about it. I put a lot of time into it. I decorated it. It was beautiful. Mm-hmm. And I had bought like 300 wristbands or something. You know, that's just the package that come in. Mm-hmm. You know, 300, 500, 700 on Amazon. Mm-hmm. And we ran out of wristbands. And my door girl was like, we ran out of wristbands. I'm like, what, you lost them? Like, the fuck? She like, no. Like, we ran out. And I had probably like 400, 450 people there. And I was just like, wow. Like, yeah. this is dope. No, that was my sure. first time doing that. Hell so. yeah. Hell yeah. So, yeah. we gonna just say that's all three right there. Yep. That was the moment. <laughs> I was like, wow. For sure. Hell yeah. Yeah. All right. Give me your top three TV shows. Dexter. Okay. Um, Dark, which you probably haven't seen. That's no, never, really nope. fucking good. Nope. Um... Mm. I don't like the newest seasons, but Attack on Titan. We're going to give it to her also. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Give me your uh, top three snacks. I'm a fat bitch on the inside. <laughs> I don't snack. I eat meals. All right. So you don't eat. So. Yeah. Uh, okay, I need a meal, baby. Don't yeah, buy me yeah, no yeah. snacks. I don't want to go on the stove. Yeah, Where is okay. we about to go eat? <laughs> All right, give me your top three singers. Uh, Sam Smith mm-hmm. and Jasmine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, Jesse J. Okay, give me your top three Detroit artists. Local, known, whatever. Your top three Detroit artists. Exxon Monet. Mm-hmm. Mm, probably Osaka. he probably be up there. Mm-hmm. And... That's her. Like, I'm for, oh, Derek. Oh, my God. Who's Derek? Derek? Is Derek Jones? Or is, from here. His name is Derek. This is good. This is Derek. Oh, my God. He's yeah, good. I got to see who Derek is. Like, he's singing. Right, what he do? He's singing. Oh, okay. my God. Voice like milk. Butter and just oh, my mm. oh yeah, you got EP. 
Would it be kind of crazy and weird for a nigga to play your shit to, um, you know what I'm saying, have a good time at night? Yeah, but... <laughs> so, <laughs> my thing with, with niggas is sometimes they be on some weird shit where, like, they be too, like, busy trying to date Mache mm -hmm. and not, like, the real me. Mm -hmm. Now, that is awkward. Mm -hmm. Like, if we chilling and shit and it's new mm -hmm. and you put me on, mm -hmm. get out. What we get? We gonna get freak bags to your, to your shit. What if we just do something to him and shit? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, we really locked in like you really are really dating me you're not doing weird shit like calling mm. me mache in the house you know mm. like you're gonna throw me off yeah. you're doing regular shit and you just like that's what you really want to hear that's yeah. cool but that weird yeah. cloud shit i'll be yeah. like oh shit now was, Qu was queen mache like that was your your artist name off rip or did you have anything that was trash before that mm -mm. that's my, my name okay and you just like that's what you went with that's that's what it was your queen made and that shit. shit up hell yeah, yeah. so mache not your real name no okay 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 so, I spelled it with an accent. Everybody thinks my name. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm about to say, I thought that was, I'm about to say, that shit, must, must be your name, shit. Yeah. What's your real name, Khadija? Ooh, I So now I'm bullshit. I'm like, I'm like, like, Khadija. Khadija Jones is motherfucker. Yeah. People be feeling betrayed when they find out it's not my real name. These niggas been knowing me for years. They're like, what you mean that's not your real name? Damn. Like, you never asked. Man, and now you ain't gonna know. Yeah, I'm definitely not telling you. <laughs> Hell no. Now, like I said before, we was on camera. Yeah, you know, I ain't everything off with a drunk moment or a hot moment. So give me a funny story when you were drunk high or on cocaine. Ooh, so now cocaine cocaine was insane. <laughs> <laughs> I was in coke, boy. Uh, um God. I'm just trying to think. Because yeah. I feel like my best drunk story, I wasn't drunk. Yeah. Was somebody so else drunk? Or what? Everybody else was drunk. Yeah. But me. That so, felt like some so. What was it? like? What was going on? Like, why why, why wasn't you drunk? But everybody else was drunk. Cause I was with my homeboys, mm. and they was trying to flirt with hoes, and we only had a certain amount of liquor. So I was like, just give it to the hoes, bro. Like, <laughs> y'all niggas need this more than I need this. Like, yeah. go ahead, let the bitches have it. They like, yeah. man, that's all we got. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead, dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but but right you ain't had no drunk story as a showcase that fucked up some money. I don't fuck up money. Yeah, ain't nothing getting away there, huh? No. Yeah. I tried to jump off a cruise ship. I didn't actually try to jump off, but they thought I was trying to jump off. Yeah. I was singing, uh, <laughs> all my friends are dead. <laughs> Push me to oh, the edge. Oh, so you was that bitch about to just go ahead and go crazy for Joshua. I was just playing, but then I had fake push this boy. Like, I was like, I threw him over, and he was going to telling my people, like, oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I ain't fucking with you, it. dog. You be tripping, dog. Maybe you shouldn't get drunk. <laughs> I was just playing. Yeah. Maybe you survive. You yeah, maybe you'll try some crazy shit, dog. I'd be turned. That's yeah. why I don't know if I got no stories. I'd be turned. Like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. There's so much feeling in my it's brain on, at one time. Yeah, see, I ain't had no I ain't had no drunk story in a long time. And I, I guess I'm thankful for that. <laughs> I ain't had a drunk moment in a while. Like, I got to be stopped. Yeah. I'd be concerned. Man. I'm happy I don't drink as much no more. Did, did, have drink ever led to having sex with somebody and you would regret that shit the next day? Yes, but it wasn't that I regretted the person. I regretted the timing. Okay. I like to move real, real slow. Yeah. So it was like, mm, I wasn't mm. even trying to do that yet. Is that is that something that, uh, like, like niggas trying to get on or, like, if a girl try to fuck too quick, like, that's a, is that a turn off? Out there. <laughs> These bitches is freaky. Yeah, for sure. The niggas got more sense than the bitches do. Yeah. Bitches be in my DMs talking about, let's do gay shit. Yeah. Girl. <laughs> I don't freaky know you. ass What the fuck man. I asked the bitch I said Have we met before She said no But we should You are freaky Man she's trying I need to get you to take a seat ASAP Like fuck the, fuck the plan Let's get to it Like shit When I did the coming out shoot I, I don't know if you've seen I had paint all over my body Real paint I had my friend splash me with paint So mm. I'm damn near naked With paint everywhere mm. These bitches was coming To the showcase Talking about yeah. uh, You got any paint left On your body That you need me to help you wash off <laughs> oh! no. Y'all bitches is freaky no, Like no baby I think I got it was, so Thank you, you said a come out party? I had I mean, a come coming out, out photo shoot, yeah. Also, just letting people know that you, you know what I'm saying, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And I, yeah, you, you already said, kind of, I could just imagine your shit was flooded from, from both. Are oh, you coming out? I can bring you back. Like, you know niggas, yeah. <laughs> you know niggas like how niggas is. Niggas ain't hell. give a fuck. Hell yeah, I'll bring you back. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't that gay. You yeah. fake gay. I had a nigga tell me that. This a fake. No, hold on. So, some women. Uh, fake. I'm old as hell. I ain't gonna say. I ain't gonna say. But some women, I, I believe that they feel like niggas that did them so dirty that woman won't. Well, woman will do your ass just as dirty. As oh no, nah, man. I ain't even gonna say nothing about it because I don't want to say nothing to me. Yeah, because I know. I know somebody Never like mind. that. <laughs> yeah. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> now, do you ever see yourself having kids? Like, do you want kids in the future? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like I'm so like headstrong and making money mm -hmm. that I just don't even see it. And I'm not in a 
a happy relationship. I'm not in a healthy relationship. I'm not with nobody. For sure. For so sure. it's not even something to think about because right now for me, it's not realistic. I'm not having mm-hmm. kids with nobody. Yeah, cause you know, most girls grow up, they, they, they picture their dream wedding, five kids, mm-hmm. and this magical dude, and whatever it is. I'm imagining a 15 bedroom house <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with a dog ass pool For sure. and a PJ. Hell so, yeah. yeah, I think that. Um, when I am with somebody that actually makes sense, like, you know, I've had moments where it's like, oh, maybe mm-hmm. I would have kids. Yeah. But it's because I was with somebody that gave me that, that for security. Sure, yeah, yeah, for sure, so for I would sure. like to be married first. No, so, first. yeah, I'm just saying, really. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So, fellas, if you want to get married to uh, Queen Mache, <laughs> like, no, I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm looking for a ring, another one. For sure, for sure. Hey, man, but make sure <laughs> she over the other nigga, though, before you do it. I am finally kind of over all my niggas. Yeah. It's one. I'm a little, yeah. You yeah. Know, I'm a little heartbroken. Just a splash. Hell yeah. Just a man. splash. For sure. It's all good. Hey, shout out <laughs> to Heartbreaks out there and shit. Heartbreak kids and shit. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, you want to leave people off with some positive shit? You know what I'm saying? You know, how you want to leave people with some, some good shit? Um, put yourself first. No shade, but fuck your friends, fuck that nigga, and fuck your family. Damn. Everything that you need to do, you know you need to do. Your path is your path. Mm -hmm. And when you let other people give opinions and pressures on your path, or you have other people distracting you, moving you in a different direction, it fuck up what you're supposed to be doing. For sure. You got to keep your eyes closed, see what God is giving for you. For sure. Fast. Fast. Hell yeah. Do you, um, are you still hurt from some of the people you might have to let go when it comes to family or friends? You know, I found... Because I cut off, like, everybody last year. Mm-hmm. Like, everybody. Mm-hmm. All my friends, all my niggas, everybody. Um, and I will say that I have grown more this year in a shorter period of time than I probably ever have. For sure. Like, even, like, just success financially and stuff. Mm-hmm. However, I am so fucking bored. Like, I've been asking God, like, hey, yo, how long we got to do this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <I'm laughs> you feel me? Yeah, like, when sure. the rest of the blessing coming? Like, do I get to get friends after that? Or, like, what's up? I'm, I'm sure. bored. I'm yeah. bored as fuck. I ain't going to yeah. hold you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. You Man, know? that was funny. But, no, I'm glad that you finally opened a DM after three years. You feel me? We ain't happening shit, dog. Dope interview, dope conversation. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that shit. Cause a lot of niggas by all the three years ago. Fuck him. I'm sick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, yeah, she said she envisioned him. Um, you know what I'm saying? She, when she... Y'all ladies visioning kids, she visioning 15 bedrooms, cribs, and shit. And I'm quite sure my producer probably vision you with that paint getting thrown on you, but that's for another conversation. We <laughs> 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 just threw you under the bus. Clean as hell, too. But no, episode 163, Queen Mache in the building. You got some new music to drop soon? We're going to pray to on it. To be continued. Yeah, we're going to pray on it. <laughs> to be continued. But y'all, you already know what it is. Shout out to everybody. Podcast MVP. Ain't no competition, man. We up.